how's it going? I'm Mark. There are many English books, however, none of them may be helpful. Jennifer wants a big wedding. Meanwhile, her fiancé wants a small, private one. Learning how to use an iPhone is difficult for my mother. Buying it for her birthday was a mistake, indeed. It was only a small gift, but it was gratefully received, nonetheless. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at conjunctive adverbs, so stay tuned! Right, conjunctive adverbs. Let me tell you that I've already talked about conjunctions. If you want to watch all those lessons, you may click here. So let's start by describing adverbs. Adverbs are words that modify verbs, clauses, sentences, adjectives, or even other adverbs. If you want to watch a lesson on adverbs, you may click here. Conjunctive adverbs are adverbs that join two clauses together. These clauses are independent ones. We can mention accordingly, additionally, besides, instead, likewise, however, rather, still, etc. I'm going to post a graph listing all the conjunctive adverbs on my community section so you can download it. When we talk about conjunctive adverbs, it's important to say that punctuation is extremely important. A semicolon or period, what is a semicolon? It's this sign, this one. Or period, period, is used at the end of the first independent clause. At the end of the first independent clause. Then follows a conjunctive adverb followed by a comma. So the formula would look like first clause, semicolon, or period, plus conjunctive adverb, plus comma, plus second clause. So let's list some examples. First one, following a semicolon. There are many English books, semicolon, However, which means by contrast, none of them may be helpful. So you can see the first clause, right? There are many English books. Then we need the conjunctive adverb, however, which means by contrast, and then the second clause. None of them may be helpful. Let's look at another example. You need to stop watching TV that much. Semicolon. Otherwise, which means differently, you'll become blind. This is also an example of, yes, the first conditional. So you see, you need to stop watching TV that much. This is the first clause. And so the condition. Otherwise, otherwise, you'll become blind. And this is the result. If you want to watch lessons on the first conditional, you may click here. So let's look at yet another example. I'd like to invite you out for dinner, semicolon, unless, which means except, you had other plans already. This is also an example of the second conditional. If you want to watch a lesson on the second conditional, you may click here. However, this is, yes, the condition. I'd like to invite you out for dinner. And then the result, unless you had other plans already. So I'd like, I would like, and then had, past simple. For our next group, let's list the ones that follow a period. Jennifer wants a big wedding, period. Meanwhile, which means at the same time, her fiancé wants a small private one. So you can see Jennifer wants a big wedding is the first clause. Then we have the conjunctive adverb, meanwhile. Then we f it follows a comma. Her fiancé wants a small private one, the second clause. Let's look at another example. I've decided to quit my job. I've decided to quit my job, period. Furthermore, which means in addition, comma, 
I have exhausted all the options. So you can see I've decided to quit my job, which is the first clause, and then we have a period. Then we have furthermore, which is a conjunctive adverb, comma, and then we have the second clause. And for the last example, my son was supposed to go out with John last night, period. Instead, the conjunctive adverb, which means as an alternative, comma, he chose to stay in the second clause. Now I'm going to erase this and we're going to look at yet other two uses of conjunctive adverbs. So let's look at other uses. If the break of the main clause is weak, then do not use commas. What do I mean by this? So let's look at my introductory example. Learning how to use an iPhone is difficult for my mother, okay? Buying it for her birthday was a mistake indeed. So you can see that here, indeed, which means certainly, doesn't have a comma before it. Why? Because the main clause is weak. So we need this adverb or this conjunctive adverb. So buying it for her birthday was a mistake indeed, certainly, right? So it reinforces buying it for her birthday, so the main clause. Let's look at yet another example. Driving to work during a blizzard is hard. I will therefore, without a comma, I will therefore, which means consequently, call a taxi tomorrow. So therefore, which is the adverb here, is, uh, is needed in the sentence. Without it, it would be weak, the sentence. So we need to reinforce, I will therefore, consequently, call a taxi tomorrow. So the last point that I want to talk about is that conjunctive adverbs are also used at the end of a clause. Don't forget to use a comma before it. So my introductory example was, it was only a small gift, but it was gratefully received nonetheless. So here, nonetheless, which means however, is um, preceded by a comma. So we have a comma right there. So let's look at the last example of this lesson. After playing chess with his friends, Sean was too proud to admit defeat. He did admit he wasn't concentrated, however. So however means yet. It's the same thing. And is preceded by a comma. So um, we can even use nonetheless, like here, or therefore, or indeed, is a conjunctive adverb. But remember to use a comma before it, okay? If you want to use it at the end of the sentence. I will uh, cite a, a quotation by Henry Rollins, just to give you another example. I try to be well informed. I don't know how well I do all the time, but I try nonetheless. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, comments, or if you want to post your own example, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you want to share the lesson, please do. I will really appreciate it. Having said that, I will see you next week with a new English lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.